Gun Show. Hello. I've heard it said that there are three things known only in three places. Valor, which knows itself only in war, wisdom only in danger, and friendship only in need. Now, it's this last that we're primarily interested in tonight. Now, this friendship that I mentioned a moment ago exists in our story tonight between three very nice people. <laughs> I just think he's so cute. <laughs> what a boy. <laughs> he won't back off the table. No, no. <laughs> oh, Neil, I think he's just dying. <laughs> oh, I can hardly believe it. I thought you'd be halfway to Denver by now. Neil, what happened? Cancel the flight? No, it was held up for loading, and I need Kim for something very big tomorrow morning. So Jim Davis gets the Denver run? And I get you. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the loan of my husband. Always glad to oblige a lady. Well, I may remind you of that someday very soon. Hmm? That's Davis taking off now. Oh, happy landing. <laughs> Darling, what would you like to do tonight? See a show, go dancing, what? No. No, I'd just like to go home and talk. I don't get many chances to do that nowadays. And tonight I have a great deal to talk about. I need him back here at the crack of dawn. All right, Mr. Legree. Just I won't have to worry about him tonight. Darling, you know Just a minute, Kathy. What is it? You and that inferno! Darling, go home, please. No, I want to go home. I want to stay here with you. Please, please don't make me go home, Kim. Now mind me, there's nothing you can do. Go home and I'll be there as soon as I can. But... Kim! go with Neil to tell Blanche Davis. Oh. I'm tired. How does she take it? She's very brave. Well, I wouldn't have been. Oh, darling, come here. Again? Why? Till you came in just now, I never even gave Blanche a thought. And those kids... It... It was almost you. That's all I could think about, Kim. It was almost you. But it wasn't. No. No, not this time. Maybe next time. Or next week, or, or next year, or... Kim. I want you to stop flying. <sighs> Kathy, we've gone all over this. Yes, I know we have. A dozen times, at least a hundred times. And each time I've let you talk me out of it. But this time it's different. Kim, I want you to stop flying. Kathy, I can't stop flying. It's the only thing I know. It's me. Darling, that's what brought us together in the first place. That's what brought us this house. What good is this house without you in it with me? Maybe tonight's been a terrible shock to you. Honestly, darling, flying is no more... Dangerous an occupation than any other job. Every day people get killed slipping in a bathtub or crossing the street or heart failure. Why, well, statistics show that a I don't care what statistics show. Oh, Kim, you're my husband. You're not a statistic. You, you, you can't know what it's like. This, this waiting. And this waiting for you to come home. And, 
praying that you will come home. Watching the clock, looking at the sky, listening to the weather report. It's, it's waiting and watching and praying and wondering. And... It's the history of our marriage, Kim. Oh, no, that's not fair. You knew what I was when you married me, and you were proud to be a pilot's wife. Well... Remember the day I got my wings? Oh, but there was a war on then. And I was a kid, a starry-eyed, romantic girl. Well, now I'm a woman. And I want a woman's life. Please, call Neil. Call Neil right now, right this very minute, and tell him you don't want to fly anymore. Please, Kim. Kathy, I can't. We're going to have a baby. Oh, darling, are you sure? Are you positive? Yes, I'm positive, absolutely. Dr. Halstead told me today. See? So that's why you're so upset. <laughs> no, no, Kim, it isn't. It... Well, I mean, it isn't the way you think. It, it's not just the illogical demands of a pregnant woman, like, well, like wanting dill pickles or watermelon or all that nonsense. It's... Very logical, if you just look at it like that. I'm a normal woman, and I want a normal life for myself, and for you, and, and for our baby. Darling, can't you see? Now I can't stop flying. It's the only trade that I know. And I'm not going to ground myself and take a job at one-third of the salary. We've got to have security for you and the baby. Oh, but don't you see? that? That's not the kind of security we'll need. It isn't. This whole thing has been too much for you, and I'm beat. We're in no shape to talk about this now. Besides, I gotta get some sleep. I take off at seven in the morning. Then you're going on that flight tomorrow? Of course, Kathy. I have to. But when I come back with... When you come back. These discussions always end that way. I love you. Three endless days and nights. And the tension mounted until I just couldn't live with it another moment. Neil? Kathy. They told me I'd find you here. Well, sit down. Thanks. What do you have? A uh, cigarette, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Will you do me a favor? Sure. Will you give this to Kim when he comes in? I'm leaving the car for him. Well, he'll be here pretty soon. Why not have a cup of coffee and wait for him? No. No, I'm through waiting for him. I've had all the waiting I can take. I'm leaving him, Neil. I, uh... I, I tried to write a note explaining it, but I, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't find the right words. So... Will you just tell him that I've come to the end of my rope? <sighs> it was... It was since that crash out there. Oh, now. Take it easy. <laughs> this has been building up for an awful long time, Neil. <sighs> you must have noticed how I've, I've come to hate Kim's flying. It's... It's the nights, I think. The nights that I'm alone and he, he's out there somewhere in that... Terrible blackness. It's just knowing that anything can happen to him. Kathy, let me ask you one thing. Are you still in love with him? Would I be feeling like this if I weren't? You love him so much you're running out on him? Is that what you mean? Oh, Neil, don't. You're just confusing the issue now. I'm not, but let it pass. Let's say you love him so much you have to leave him. Let's say I buy that cockeyed as it is. Then let me ask you one more thing. If you had to leave him, why come out here and tell me about it? Why not just go? Go 
because of. Could it be that you want me to say I'll ground him? Neil. Well, I won't. Kim was born to fly. Or could it be that you halfway hope I'll talk you out of quitting? Well, I won't do that either. If you can't stand the gaff, Kathy, you're better off quitting, and so is Kim. Neil, honestly, you don't understand. You're I saying... understand. A flyer's wife has to be something pretty special. I always thought you were, Kathy. And now you see I'm just a woman, like any other woman. I'm not a heroine or a hero's wife. Just a woman who wants a home and a family and peace of mind. Hold it, Kathy. It's clobbering up out there. I'd better check on the weather. Don't go till I get back. Sam, may I have a cup of coffee? tell you this weather's really bad and it's getting worse. Most of the fields are closed all up and down the coast and there's no telling when the tower will close us here. Where is Kim? Just east of the pass. And Kathy, he's lost an engine. What can he do? Well, Kim's not the type to blow up in an emergency. He's lost an engine before. You didn't answer me. What can he do? Can he turn back? Well, by this time he's well into the storm and we're the closest field. Besides, I know Kim. He'll want to deliver this cargo fast. It's perishable. What is it? Well, part of it's 5,000 orchids for that big society wedding. 5,000 orchids? Kim is out there risking his life so some silly glamour can have a stylish wedding. I'm not buying the orchids, Kathy. Only supplying them. Let me go with you. I can't stay here. Now we can go down to my office and keep in contact there. Kathy, no hysterics. I'll be a good girl. You all right, Kathy? Don't worry about me. Just tell me what's going on. Well, here's the deal. Kim will be in contact with traffic control. He can't make a standard instrument approach because he hasn't been able to maintain altitude. He's been given clearance to make whatever kind of blind approach he can under the circumstances. But the mountains, they'll have to get over the mountains. Yeah. Oh. Will you be talking with him? Well, I can keep in touch in there, but I won't interrupt with any transmissions. He'll be depending on split-second communications. Yeah, I see. Now, why don't you come on over here and sit down? Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'll keep you posted. Watch the clock. Watch the clock, Kathy. You're used to that. You've done it before. Watch the clock. Maybe you can make it go faster and bring him back. Is that second hand slowing down? It must be. Oh, got to stop this. I know. I'll keep my eyes closed. Oh, Kim. When I close my eyes, I can see you out there in that awful storm. No, I won't let myself think of him like that. I won't let myself. The Golandrina. I'll think of the times when we were happy together. When we hadn't a care in the world. Just a couple of crazy kids laughing at everything or nothing. The whole world is wonderful because we were together. Hey, Kathy. Yeah. Come here. Look what I bought for you. What? Oh. Hey, you're 
Laura, darling. Latest thing from John Frederick. Oh, my Kim, it's just beautiful. <laughs> just your type. Try it on. Oh. There. How do I look, huh? Mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Well. You know, this is the first time I ever picked out a hat for you. I know it. Kathy. Here's the story. And I'm going to give it to you straight all the way. That's the way you want it. That's right. With an engine out, Kim couldn't be sure of clearing the mountains, so he's trying to make it through the pass. The turbulence hasn't helped any. He has to feel his way through the pass blind. But the last we heard from him, he'd lost 2,000 feet. Now, there it is, baby. Just sit tight and keep your fingers crossed. Please, dear God, help him. Help him. Even a minute. Well, that's just not possible. Oh, but a minute can be an eternity. Oh, I wonder what you were thinking in that moment, Kim. Or have you been too busy to think? You've been in trouble before. You don't blow up. That's it. That's what I'll think of. He's been in trouble before. And he's always come through all right. Only I never knew about it until it was over. And then I'd hear about it from one of the pilots or from Neil. Oh, you hate to talk about yourself, Kim, don't you? Relax, baby. That's all you'd ever say. It's all over. Take it easy. Oh, I'm trying, Kim. I really am. I'm trying to think of us together, your arms around me. Dancing. Happy anniversary, darling. Oh, the happiest. I have a million of them. Mm. All right here in Mexico. All of the tuna la golondrina. Mm. It's our anniversary waltz. <laughs> Just as long as you don't call it our song. If I ever do, you can divorce me. Oh, don't ever say that. Not even in fun. Kathy, I love you. I love you. This musical cocktail was brought to you for your entertainment by the Maricopa Insurance Company. Why not discuss your estate problems with one of our friendly counselors? Ask his help in protecting the future of those you love. Your... Captain, he's through the pass. Oh, thank... Thank God. But he lost a lot of altitude doing it. Yeah. He's probably about 10 minutes out. Oh. The ceiling's down to less than 200 feet. If it wasn't an emergency, I wouldn't let him land. There are towers all around this field, a lot higher than that. Hi, Chief. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Paul. Nice to see you. Same to you. Nice night, huh? <sighs> well, at least it stopped raining. Yeah. You know, I was just telling Kim the other night, I think we ought Small to Small talk to... later, Paul. Come on in the office with me. See you later. One breathless moment, I thought that was you, Kim, back and safe. But you're still out. If only I could be out there with you, it wouldn't be so awful. But I really am with you, darling. I'm right up there in the storm with you, and you know it. You do know that, don't you? Supposing he doesn't know it. Supposing he thinks I've left, that I'm not here to come back to. Maybe he knows what I was doing. Maybe he felt it. What is it, Kathy? May I speak to him? Please, may I? Now, Kathy, you know better than that. You know the rules. Oh, never mind. Forget the rules. I must talk to him. There's something I must tell him. So he won't think I'm leaving him. Neil, I didn't mean to say goodbye to him when he left. Please, please, may I speak to him? I'm sorry, Kathy. Besides, it's too late. Oh, no. Too late to talk to him on the radio, I mean. He's found the field and he's due to land any minute. Listen. Let me go, Nick. There's nothing wrong. 
wrong with that plane? There's no low ceiling. No crash trucks, no fire engines. Everything is normal. Why did Neil tell me that it... Neil! I know. Monster. Heel. Less polite words than either of those. But I had to do it, Kathy. I had to make you realize you never could leave him, no matter how much you hated his flying. Who gave you the right to play God is what I want to know, Neil. No one. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe you'll never speak to me again. Oh. I won't like that. But I'll understand. Mm. Only try to remember this, Kathy. You were hysterical. It called for drastic action. You... You were so cruel. So horribly cruel. You know, my mother used to say this to me when I was a kid. Sometimes you have to be cruel, only to be kind. Please try to understand, Kathy, will you? Kim was... Never know that I was even thinking of leaving you. I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. Now you better fix yourself up a little. I look awful, huh? You look like the devil. <laughs> oh, hi, Ken. All right, Chief, smooth as glass. Now you can have your what? Kathy. You shouldn't be out on a night like this, darling. What are you doing here? You all right? I just came down to give you a lift home, that's all. I well, ought to spank you instead of kissing. Oh, please. No more spanking. Uh, Neil, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, how would you like to be a godfather? A what? You heard what the lady said, a godfather. It's a boy, we might even name it Neil. That's right. Kathy, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't have a chance. Well, if I'd only known. Well, you know now, huh? Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> That's great. Good night. Good night. Kathy, wait a minute. As long as I have the two of you together, there's something I want to tell you both. What? On the flight back here, I couldn't get you out of my mind. I kept seeing you pacing the floor and watching the clock and wondering and worrying and waiting. and You know, just like you've been telling me. And for the first time, I think I really understood how you felt. Don't, you... Don't, don't interrupt me. Let me finish. Neil, I've had it. I'm grounding myself. I want to get another job, all right? But, Kim, you don't have to. Really, you don't. Not on my account. You know, you two remind me of that old Henry story. He pawned his watch to buy her a comb for Christmas, and she sold her hair to buy him a chain for his watch. Remember, oh. you're both very noble. <laughs> Being noble hasn't got anything to do with it, Neil. It's just that I suddenly realized all at once that I'm married to a flyer. And a flyer must fly. That's right. Well, not me. Not at this time. It's too important. I can't have Kathy worried. She won't be worried anymore. Oh, I can't promise you I won't be worried. But I can promise you that I, I won't be a nuisance about it anymore. Darling, you can be a nuisance even if you try. Oh, well, why Kim, don't you I... two go on home? You ought to be alone. <laughs> oh, just a minute, Kathy. Yes. You forgot something. Here's your parking ticket. Thanks for everything. Night, Neil. Good night. Now, here again is Miss Young. Thank you. In love, one has need of being believed. In friendship, of being understood. From the writings of Abel Bonar. Well, good night. See you next week.